here was trying to help y'all with how we do stuff. It gets harder, especially if you not pay attention. So I do. Well, think about it. It's on the screen here. It should be very obvious. You gotta show all the steps and how to find the answer. If you do that, you didn't get no credit for it. Also in the video, you want to watch the video again. Oh, we gotta show the steps on the computer? So you might want to think about that. What did he call, what else did he call dimensional analysis in there? He had other names for it, right? It was two other names. So what's the first one? This is question number two, right? They say the weightlifter, right, is lifting 555 pounds. That's your clue there. So what did he say in the video? The first thing is you turn it to a fraction. He did tell you exactly what to do. So LBS means pounds. Put it over one. I turn it into a fraction. <laughs> Multiply by, right? By what? Well, the standard conversion is in your face right there. One kilogram is equivalent to 2.2 pounds, right there on the screen. So, one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. What crosses out here? Anybody paying attention or no? For five points? What crosses out? Sorry, two dimensions. Y'all see the groups? Remember table 1.4? Yeah. Okay, blank looks. Okay. Yeah. 
Ain't that mega, right? Oh, okay. So it was that table y'all created, that table 1.4 in your spreadsheet. Uh, you need to open that up for the notes in case you don't remember how to do the dimensions, right? So let's go through this problem. We know that we have a lift in meters, but we have a lift in something else, right? And that in the, in the table was 5 times 10 to the negative 6 meters, right? We're going to change that to kilometers, right? That's the second part of the problem. So do me a favor, crack open the book, if you like it or not, page 18. You look sad. Sad, I already got that page open. That's the hardest way to do it. Everybody uh, says, I'm so explaining the first problem. I hope you're keeping up with me. I'm going to this clock. I've got to have more. We got out here at 2.30. It's 1.58. Mm -hmm. It's 32 more minutes. That's a long time. Man. Well, I don't know. Uh, so this is the table I'm talking about that y'all should have completed yesterday. If I don't see it in your spreadsheet, like, in yesterday's assignment, y'all should all turn the spreadsheet I yesterday, right? I did. So why did I ever? Uh, we can talk about grades right. after we get done with all of this. So as soon as I get to the you do and I'm not going to be doing Come on down, Max. I'll break it down mathematically to you while you grade your grade. Um, so this table was what you should have completed, right? right. Now, you're going to use this table to do this problem. If you look at page 19, the problem is right here. So they're talking about this number, which is 5 times 10 to the third, right? And what they want you to do is um, you want to find out the lift in meters because right now the number they're giving you is, in, uh, is only in kilometers, like our meters are set. So let's take that number. That's 5 uh, times 10 to the negative 6. Let's write it out. That's what Mr. Brown said. This is number 1, right? So you take the number and you put it over 1. That's how you start it off. So 5 times 10 to the negative 6, right? And this is meters. You're going to put that over 1. Anytime, like the video said, you want to convert something, put it over one. Next, we want to get to kilometers. Well, table 1.4 says what power of 10 is kilometers. Anybody know? I'm trying to get my point. That's 10 to what power? No, the first power, right? Can you repeat it again? 10 to the what power is kilometer curves? One? Third. Third. Who said that? He said first. I was saying it. I, 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 I couldn't hear you. Okay. Yes. So there was a problem with the headset. I kind of couldn't have it. So I think you said it too, Lager, but I'm going to give y'all both of those. Yeah. It's, well, it's also on table 1.4, right? Yeah. You look at kilo, next to it is 10 to the third. So 5 and 5. So let's try to see if you paying attention. So we're going to say this is multiplied by, because we got to do a standard conversion. So we know for one kilometer, it's equal to. 10 to the third or 1,000 meters. What crosses out here? Nobody knows, and we'll wait only another second or so. Something crosses out dimensionally. One kilometer? Nope. Meters. Damn, I'm Yeah, all right, yeah, you can keep, y'all, boy, I swear. What's up on the street, I need to keep that. I said that. I don't know, no, no. Say that. I just said that. But you gotta say meters, like she said, not the M. No, no, All right. So this crosses out, so this means meter to meters. We got the specific sciences, all right? Let's keep going. We can rewrite this to calculate a new thing. So that becomes, just write what's not canceled. So that'll be five times 10. And y'all have a quiz on Friday. So if you go ahead and play with this on your light. It's Thursday, right? Uh, today is Thursday, yes, tomorrow, right? Wow, we got the test. I don't answer, I don't know what it is about my people, but I don't answer questions for like that. I just don't, I don't. I don't know what it is like that. So Mike, you mean? And I'll be like, yeah. So Mike, you mean? You got four times. Not doing that. That's a Chicago classic. I, I do not engage. All right, so what do we do? Well, just punch it in your calculator. Oh, wow. No, I'm not waiting. I got to go, man. So you said you have to you on stage, you're in my classroom, and I'm teaching. Give me that, be quiet. Yeah. Okay, boys. Dude, I'm teaching, you're talking over me. Yeah, you can talk over me. Yeah, I'm talking over me. Come on, man. Go ahead and get rushed, please. Come on, man. 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 Come on,
So now we put in our calculator. Instead of this number here, the same thing I did before, right? You're going to go here and just in the numerator put 32,000. And since the third already in the bottom, I'm going to type there. I hit enter. And I get a yield of 32, right, kilo dollars. So I just come here and say, well, that's just going to be 32 kilo dollars. Well, that was part A. Part B is doing something different. Yeah, 32 kilo, that's a lot. Yeah. So it's making me bad sales. I was just going to say, what do you want to make that? All right, so moving to the next part. You write, do the same thing, put it over fraction. This is the answer for part B. It's still part number two we're doing. We'll put 32,000 again. And this is dollars, right? It's three, right? Huh? It's three, right? No, this is part B. It's two parts you said. So it says, hey, what is that price in mega dollars? Well, let's do our conversion again. You got to look at table 1.4. And you got it in your spreadsheet. And you got it on page 18. What, is, what power is 10 to the 6? Why did I say it? I said it. What power is it make? I said 10 to the answer anyway. So I just thought I was like, what's the answer? You say what? Nothing. <laughs> so one mega dollar for part B is basically, I said it without knowing, it. I'm trying to get up this problem. It's 10 to the 6. That's in your table 1.4. You know what mega is. And this is a dollar. So that means I can cancel out dollars again here. Do we got to use the one I do? Yeah, you got to do it. That's what I'm trying to Now you see why I can't get people out last night. So why did this number one? We did an I did because I didn't know how to calculate. That's what I thought. Y'all talking, y'all sound. You think you just keep throwing me off. You're not. I'm about to keep going with this, all right? So we got what? Uh, rewrite it. What's well, not crossed out. And that's going to be here. That's 32,000, right? Dollars is gone. We know this is now going to be in terms of a mega dollar. And that's over 10 to the 6 now. That was a mega. Let's change it up in our new calculator. Let's change this down here to uh, power of six. <clears throat> and that's less than what we had before, right? Last time we had kilos, we had 32 kilo dollars. You see this is 0 0.032. It takes a lot more to get a mega dollar price. So let's write that out. That's going to be equivalent to, in this part, uh, 0 0.0. 3, 2, and this is a mega dollar price. We'll box that off, and that's all she wrote for part B of number two. We got three and four, so they run fast, and then the rest of the last period, again, this is why I be, I be able to know. Y'all chew with y'all time with these jokes and talks. This is not me. So, what do we got? It says a warehouse. This one's easy if you understand your geometry calculations. So normally, I'm just going to tell you, if you don't remember, the equation for volume, when you talk about rectangle, is volume is equal to length times width times height. So let's go ahead and knock that out. This is number three. So all of this is two. All of this is one. Here is part number, uh, problem number three. So number three, the equation is normally volume. Why are you back there, sir? Where do you get this from? I don't see. You back in the box, so. so volume is equal to length times width times height. Very powerful equation. You got to have that in your notes if you're doing it. And then if you understand that, we can write our notes for this. So what do we know? Well, well three, right? Up, uh, number three, yeah. yeah. What do we know? Sorry, how are we going to see this? I'm going to come around. Uh, so it says the length is 223 uh, 
the height and width is going to both be uh, 5 by 5, y'all, by the way. So we're going to say, what is it? Lift, no, I'm sorry, width is W, is a regular W, by the way. Because that's width is equal to 2,023. Two is that a uh, L? Where are you going to end Because that's the equation for volume. Left times width times height. So that's uh, measured in what? Well, we want meters, but all of this is in centimeters, so we have to do some conversions. So centimeters, right? And then we have to convert that to uh, meters, so we come down one, whereas width is to get meters, we know sense of means, table 1.4 shows you, 10 to the uh, negative 2 power, because we need meters. For cubic meters. So it would be 223 times 10 raised to the negative 2 meters. You got to use this for your calculation. Moving on to the next one. Remember I said 555 centimeters high. So that's height, which is equal to 555 centimeters. Again, convert it. So you cannot use centimeters in our calculation. So that would be height is equal to 555 times 10 to the negative 2. That's what center means. We need lift. Like I said, the problem is to show it, but you can use the same uh, height. So oh. In this case, lift, how long the building is, the warehouse, is 555 five, five, times 10 raised to the negative 2 meters. That's 2023. The second W. The 2023. Second w. I don't, I'm on problem three, the same number. So this is centimeters. And again, we just convert it. 2 times 10 to the negative 2 meters, right? Okay. Now, uh, no, that's just V, right? We got the equation here, by the way. If we need to write that in, so you know how to do it. This is an elementary school problem, by the way. Here. So, unknown, you just put it all together, right? <laughs> the reason you had to convert it, because if you look at the problem, it says, I need it in cubic meters, not cubic centimeters. So you got to be careful when you do these problems. You know what they're asking for. So that means, I just plug in my calculator, only the meter values, not centimeter values. So some people might just say, just multiply it all together. No, it's not true. So what is this? I'm typing in on Google for you. That'll be 2023 times 10. We're going to raise that to the negative 2, close parentheses, multiplied by, which is grab all this. Copy. So I have to do too much. And this number is going to be 555. You see what I'm typing? And I just grab this. I love being in this. I work fast. Who you mean? That should probably answer for your body. That's approximately 623.13. And that's cubic meters. So if you can put meters cube. Now, number four. Of your you do, we do, you should have done it a long time ago with the Shaw steps. Remember, I told you to calculate your age? That's number four. Mm -hmm. So you can do, you can look at your own notes and do number four. Because everybody should have done it a couple of days ago. Alright, with that said, you have approximately, um, sheesh, I want to say 13 minutes of class left. Now I got your YouTube question. You can use your book for that. Please do. Don't use uh, Google too much because you'll get a wrong answer. Probably. Wait, so. I'm trying to wait. <laughs> I'll take a picture of all these. She's fine. Yep. Yeah. My only answer you need all the steps. Uh, do 10 minutes more. You ready, Risha?
put it in SB in case y'all run out of time. Remember, number four is we.